and the uh, radar, but I think currently we show only the Scala and the, the camera information. And in front you can see um, information like uh, lane, detected lane marks, the car in front of us detected as a target vehicle, and when it's possible to do a lane change you see these, these arrows. And uh, what we show you is an active cruise control, so the car is keeping um, its speed and its distance to the car in front and it's key, it keeps us in, it, in, in our lane, so foot of the pedal, hand of the, the steering wheel and uh, yeah, it's, it's activate or I can activate it like a normal cruise control, so I have a set button, I have a reset button and yeah, so we go our way around the, the block on Sahara and on Sahara we will show you the, the functionality using the, the set button so you can see it's set up like a normal cruise control and now it's hands off and foot from the foot from the pedal so the the car is keeping us in in the in the lane and is taking care of the speed so I'm able to increase the speed while using a button as well as increasing the, the safety distance and approaching on standing traffic so I will Brake. No, the car is detected already, so this is all done by the car. Sometimes it gets difficult when the car is already standing because detecting standing objects, um, yeah, you have to, to tune the algorithm to filter out the, the correct objects. Although the Scala is, is already very good in, in detecting standing objects compared, for example, to a radar system. So, yeah, it's just a little bit of algorithm tuning as well as, yeah, adopting the. the algorithms on some situations but yeah so you can do this from 20 miles to 110 miles per hour there's no problem so highway driving although maybe the speed is higher is often a simpler scenario so it's not as complex as and that's one situation for example where we lose the, um, the lane marks so I have to reactivate the system and on the highway most of the time the car So that stopping was the vehicle? Yeah, it's fully automated. And now you see, because the camera is detecting the lane marks uh, in front of the car and they are covered by the car in front of us, so we, we lose the, the lane marks. So um, we will automatically start and, and uh, approach the car in front of us, but uh, I have to reactivate so that steering is, is possible again. On a highway you will consistently see lane marks and therefore you don't have to, to activate the system. So this is just um, due to this demo route because we have to, to shorten the time. But the car is starting, starting itself. And I have to reactivate the So I will just do a quick U-turn and then get you back. I'm highly automated again. Now I will go into manually and uh, go to the left because we have to turn here. 